Welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus. We're in chapter 25 today. We're going to read verses 26 to 30 and finish on the table of showbread, picking up from yesterday. You shall make four gold rings for it and put rings on the four corners which are on its four feet. The rings shall be close to the rim as holders for the poles to carry the table. You shall make the poles of acacia wood and overlay them with gold so that with them the table may be carried. You shall make its dishes and its pans and its jars and its bowls with which to pour drink offerings. You shall make them of pure gold. You shall set the bread of the presence on the table before me at all times. All right. So thinking about these offerings here, all the other offerings were periodic. You know, they were presented a certain, a certain time of the day or multiple times or whatever. This one is six days long. It's weekly. It goes through the week. This offering is always there. It's continual. It's never ceasing. The bread is always on the table of showbread there before the Lord, before his face. And, you know, it does represent that endless adoration, endless praise, endless trust in God's keeping and peace in his keeping. God was always for his people day and night. You know, you sleep, I sleep, God doesn't sleep. God is always, always on the job protecting and watching over his beloved followers. This is the one ritual in association with the sanctuary that was only performed once a week and it was done on the seventh day, the Sabbath day. Now, like the Ark of the Covenant that we already studied there briefly, it had four rings, one in each corner, and poles to go in the rings. Now, in the Ark of the Covenant, the poles were never to be removed. They were always to remain there. Here we have rings for the carrying of this thing because it's part of the mobile sanctuary again, but it doesn't say that the poles were not to be removed. In fact, if you didn't remove the poles, it might create kind of like a, an extra hazard that might be there. Uh, for, you know, people, priests, moving around in the holy place. So it appears that the uh, poles would be removed when they set up, set up the sanctuary after they re-encamped. But still interesting, similar to the ark, but a little bit different there. Now remember that God dwells in the most holy place, but also the whole tabernacle is sort of like one unit. And here we're going to find that this is kind of like a living space in a regular home. You would have a table where you would eat. You would have a light source, a lamp usually in your house. So this was kind of like God's living room in a way, you know, maybe representing that. Uh, this is God setting up camp. He's dwelling among his people. They are around him. He's in the center of the camp. But this is him sort of coming close, uh, being like, like us. He has the table. He has the food. He has the light source there in his home. So those items that we are looking at as we're continuing are kind of like the, the parts in God's dwelling. So the various furniture there is portraying this, that God is living amongst his people. See you tomorrow morning, and we'll go on to the next item.